Hello again, YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well today. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. So today, I want to talk about something that a lot of guys struggle with, but it's really not very difficult. Once you get the general, or, you know, the general consensus down of how to do it, um, it, it really comes pretty natural to most people. So I want to talk about boat control. Boat control is extremely important. You know, live scope and boat control go hand in hand, okay? And also, if you don't have live scope, it's very, very important that you keep the boat in position on your brush piles so you can make good casts and catch fish like these, okay? So we're gonna get these puppies in the live well. We'll be right back with you. And I'm gonna show you guys how I control my boat so that I can stay on these big fish and catch them cast after cast. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Right, guys welcome back so again let's talk about boat control boat control is so important why well first of all you got to stay on that brush pile where you are or where you have a better chance okay of being able to catch those fish and cast to those fish and be on that brush so let me talk to you about the most important thing if you do not have live scope okay this is your friend. This is the most important thing for you if you do not have live scope. Why? Because you've got to mark your brush pile so you can remember you have a focal point of where your brush is, okay? So once you have a focal point, we have one of these out on a brush pile, okay? Once you have a focal point of where that brush is, you can stay off that brush. Now, Matt, how do you fish brush? How do you, what side of the brush do you fish? What, well, First and foremost, I go on the downwind side, okay? I wanna cast straight into the wind or straight into the current. That's my first presentation of those fish. Then, after that, I may move to the left side and cast across the brush, or I may move to the right side and cast across the brush that way, okay? But I don't ever fish a brush pile from up current or upwind. It's very rare. In the really rare situation that I have to, I will, but if I can fish it from the downwind side, I can fish it from the left side or the right side of the brush. That's my preferred method to fish brush, okay guys? So with that being said, we've got a brush pile right here in front of us, okay? And we're going to see, or I'm gonna show you guys just how I control the boat, okay? With the trolling motor, I'm gonna get you guys up here with me, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I control that boat. All right guys, so you can see our buoy out there, okay? We're directly downwind of that buoy. So that wind is blowing right in our face. Okay, now you can see my setup here. I got my fishing specialties pole. I got my live scope going. You can see the brush on the live scope right there. There's fish in it. Okay, got my trolling motor pointed right at the buoy. All right, I'm gonna keep it pointed right at the buoy. And then I'm gonna take that trolling motor and I'm gonna run it, okay, on three or four. I don't wanna run it on more than three or four unless, okay, unless it's very, very windy. If it's not, if it's a mild wind like it is today, I will not run it on more than three or four because I don't want to spook fish, okay? So what I'm going to try to do is less is more, guys, all right? You got to remember, your boat is going to coast, okay? When you get off that, when you let off the trolling motor pedal, your boat is going to, to coast before it stops. It's not just going to instantly stop, guys. A lot of times, people that say, I have a hard time with boat control, stay on the trolling motor too long, okay? So little short bursts, just little short bursts, like just one, two, three, okay? is gonna hold me right on that, right on that buoy. So I wanna just kinda stay right on that buoy, okay? As I float back, that's fine. As I'm fishing, okay? Let's say I'm fishing, I cast out. As the boat floats back, it's okay, guys. It's okay for your, float, your boat to float back. Just let it float back, finish your cast, okay? And then one, two, three, just bump it up, 
All right, you don't want to go. If you can tell your boat's moving, guys, okay, you're moving too fast. You need to slow it down. All right, so again, just real slow on the trolling motor. Just one, two, three. That's plenty on about three or four. This is a big, heavy boat. This is a 690 VS, okay? It's a big, heavy boat, and it coasts. Once I get this boat moving, it's got enough momentum that it moves, it coasts. So I don't want to get too far over those fish. Now, right now, I'm actually too, too close to those fish, okay? So I'm going to back up just a hair. I want to keep that brush pile somewhere around... 15 to 20 feet from me, okay? About 15 to 20 feet, and I'm just gonna ease my way. Now, another thing, when you're on that trolling motor, don't sit there and do this. I mean, don't sit there and just beat that trolling motor and just move it real slow, just nice methodical movements, all right? Ease her back up, we float it off it. You can see the buoy up there. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna let off, okay? We're gonna get closer to that buoy. All right, I don't ever move all the way to the buoy. I'm going to do one, two, three, see where my boat coasts to. I'll do it again, one, two, three, see where my boat coasts to. It's slow, methodical movements, okay? You don't want to just be real jerky. All right, see, we're keeping that brush pile right at about 20 feet. All right, let's see if we can catch one out of there real quick. All right, guys, again, just real slow movements, just easy movements. Okay? We can catch one. Make your cast, make your little pitch. I'm gonna stay off the trolling motor while I'm fishing. Unless the wind starts blowing real hard, then I'll get back on it. Takers that time. Oh, there it is, right here. Move over just a little bit. One, two, three, I'm off the trolling motor. One, two, three, off the trolling motor. Just nice, easy movements. release <laughs> all right let's get another one boat control is so important guys all right boat control is more important than making a perfect cast you got to keep your boat okay got to keep your boat where you can fish the, or where you can fish that brush pile consistently all right we're gonna get one right here just one two three see how quick i'm off the trolling motor just one two three See, when I move that trolling motor, it just turns smooth. Just nice, smooth turn.
cooperating with us right now. There he is. Good fish right here. Ah, good fish. It's all about boat control, guys. It's all about boat control. Being able to stay on those fish, keep those fish in front of the boat so that you can catch them, okay? So I can adjust y'all down a little bit here. No. Oh, good fish. He inhaled it. He inhaled it, guys. Look at that. There it is. Nice fish. So again, boat control is so important. You don't want to just kill that trolling motor. You don't want to stay on that trolling motor too long, guys. Nice, easy movements, short bursts on your trolling motor. You should be able to stay on that brush pile, okay? I appreciate you guys watching. As always, God bless. We'll catch you on the next one.